Okay, if you're like me, for the first time you open up Microsoft Word and you start typing, you notice that it has a different type of font, and when you hit enter on the keyboard, it gives you like an extra, well, I want to hit enter a couple of times. I'll turn on my show hide codes. It like gives you extra space in between uh, paragraphs. Well, that's Microsoft's default template. Every time you create a new document, it's based upon that. In fact, I think the uh, font, when you start typing, isn't Times New Roman, the default font. I'll go ahead and uh, hold down the shift key and hit home so it selects the text form my cursor is at to the beginning. I think it was when I click in here and type in C-A-L, it was Calibri, and I hit the tab key. Looks like that, and it was kind of in a different color too. Well, you won't see it in mine because I changed my uh, default normal global templates for every time I create a new document. It's not going to have Microsoft default text there. If you want to change this, um, two things. First of all, if you change it when you're watching the document themes training video, you make any changes outside of what Microsoft Word has the default. When you go to the page layout, and you want to change your themes, you won't be able to do it. For example, when you click on the Themes button, you come in here. In short, you can watch a training video on that. It updates whatever text you have behind you with different colors, different fonts, text, and when you hover over it, you will be able to see it changing behind you. Well, it won't work for me because I messed with the normal template by saying, look, I don't want Microsoft Word's Calibri body. I don't want its margins. I want different margins for my new document. So keep that in mind. Themes will not work for you if you change any defaults on your template in Microsoft Word. Now having said that, let me show you how you change it. I'm going to delete this and turn off my codes here so it looks nice. First of all, if you don't like the font Calibri in all your new documents, all you have to do is come up here on the home tab of the font group and click on the expandable dialog box button. Change it here from Calibri, or actually it's not Calibri, it's body. And the default for body is Calibri. All you have to do is come in here and type in, you know, Times New Roman if that's what you like, or Arial in all your new documents. Make any changes that you want for the size, and then when you're done, click on Default, and it says, hey, you're about to change the default normal global template, meaning all new templates will have this font for you. Just click Yes, and it'll update the font, only the font, okay? We'll click Cancel, and I'll show you other places you can update. So you can update the font to have a specific type of font for all your new documents. You can also update the paragraph by clicking on the expandable dialog box button. Just basically any time you see a default button here and you make choices up above, that's going to default it to the normal template any time you create a new blank document. And that includes any changes you make up here if you always want spacing before or after your documents or you just want it single space, no spacing. And then click Cancel. And then finally on your Page Layout tab here, you got your page set up. Click on the Expandable Dialog Box button, and you also have it for your margins, like I was telling you earlier. Uh, by default, they do, I believe I remember, it gives you one inches on all sides. But if you want a half inch for all your new documents, change it up here on your margins, and then click the Default button, and it will apply for all new documents from this point forward. Like I said, anytime you see a default at the bottom, it's going to be your default for whatever tab you have up the top. So all new documents for your margins will be whatever you want to default it here for your paper size. And they also have a default button for your layout. So make your changes, click default, and your new documents will have a new page layout if you make changes for it. Or on the home tab, a new type of font and paragraph, meaning do you want double spacing or single spacing, whatever you change in the paragraphs. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.